Hello! Welcome back to the Kanto region. This is the Route to Victory Road, a podcast that chronicles our journeys through the main series titles of the Pokemon franchise. I'm your host, Pokemon Professor Mackenzie, and I'm joined today, as always, by my wonderful partner and co-host, Jay Lee. Hello! Happy day! Happy Friday. Happy happy day. That I couldn't choose what greeting I wanted to say, but hello. <laughs> happy day to you. Happy day to you, Pokemon Master Jay Lee. Thanks. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. I just grabbed my drink at the wrong time. I keep trying to put my straw in my mouth, but never mind. We're recording now, so I'm going to put this down. I'm great. I am well rested. I had the day off. I'm great. Yeah? Yeah. How are you? We had a, a, a pretty good weekend. We had a fantastic weekend. We went and nerded it up at our local science center. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun playing with all the puzzles and just nerding out and having a good time yeah that was a lot of fun and uh, (laughs) i guess (laughs) that'll be confusing to people but uh this isn't actually friday that we're recording this believe it or not (laughs) what don't give away our secret i know and it's a little behind the podcast but it's uh it's a really nice day out we're finally starting to see some really warm days yeah yesterday was way nicer i tried to take gucci for a long walk today and it was a little bit chilly but yesterday was so nice yeah yeah i want spring it's coming it's coming it's it's rearing its ugly head okay don't (laughs) lie to me but uh yeah other than that we've had quite a busy week we we watched a movie what was it don't breathe yeah we watched scary movies yeah we watched uh don't breathe and we also watched what was the other movie we watched? Um, we didn't finish Demon House. We started that. We one. started that. Yeah, we started Demon House, it. and we got bored of it because it was more like a like a shot for TV documentary. Oh, we watched the Paranormal Activity. Paranormal Activity Next of Kin. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. The the new Paranormal Activity. We were trying to find some good scary movies, but settled on those ones. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that Don't Breathe, or also known as The Man in the Dark. I thought that that was an okay show up until the end. Yeah, it was very strange. Yeah. Yeah. I I didn't like the twist. I didn't like the end. In the middle of the movie, which which like normally you save the twist for the end, but the twist comes kind of in the middle. I didn't like it. Yeah, it kind like of it. ruined the atmosphere for me a it little bit. It was weird. It made it very surprising to me that they made a sequel. Um, we have to watch it. Yeah, I love you want scary to? movies. I just I want them to be scarier. I don't. To me, it doesn't sound like a scary. It sounds like Taken, the the sequel. Okay. But we can watch it if you want. It just uh, sounds like an action movie rather than a horror. I just want some good scary movies. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the Paranormal Activity, Next of Kin, very different from the paranormal Paranormal Activities that I've watched. Yeah. That also, one was spooky. It was spooky a little bit. Yeah, there were some kind, good jump scares in that one. I liked it. Kind of predictable at yeah, times, though. Yeah, very predictable. There was also like parts that didn't make sense after like knowing the whole thing about it, like at the end. Yeah. Like the part where she's in her mother's room, and like the bed sinks and stuff like that, which is like one of like the the big scares in the in the movie, but. When you know what's happening at the end, it doesn't make sense because what was in the room with her? Yeah. Because we know where her mom is. We know where her mom is the whole movie exactly. because of the end. Yeah. So it wasn't her mom in the room. Very confusing. They missed a few. Yeah. It was. It, it was just kind of like they were like making scary scenes and didn't know how to tie it together. That's yeah. what it felt like to me. Where the first couple paranormal activities, I didn't love the the explanation of the first couple. But at least they had like a cohesive like scare theme. Yes, I like those movies. I like I like getting scared. I do too. I, I really wish that they hadn't like explained the monster. That would have made Paranormal Activity so much more frightening to me. Yeah. If they hadn't been like like spoilers for a however old movie, but like oh it's a demon and his name is Toby. <laughs> right, which is when you're growing up, that's the name of the ghost in your house, right? Yeah, that wasn't ours. Like under the stairs. Right. Yeah. But but we, but we know that that's the demon's actual name because he told the girls. Yeah. That his name is Toby. 
He is Toby the demon. And that makes me roll my eyes so hard it hurts my face. Did you so. ever have a, a ghost or a demon in your house when you were a kid? Of course. Everyone, of course. everyone plays Toby pretend. Toby under the stairs. Yeah. 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 It, it's like... What do you mean pretend? I mean like... <laughs> I had a real demon. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Everyone does. That's where demons hang out. Yeah. <laughs> hang out in houses. They do. And play with kids. Children. Yeah, they do. But yeah, so uh, Paranormal X, Next of Kin, uh, okay movie, not a great paranormal activity. That's I was, what I would say. I was scared shitless of Toby. Ask my siblings. I was scared. Yeah? Yeah. That's anyway, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Sorry. Well, do we want to talk about Game Corner? Do you have a Game Corner? Sort of. Sure. New season dropped in Fortnite. Oh, God. That's not even the reason that we're recording later than normal, but... Because Fortnite usually our... No, but sometimes. Sometimes it interferes. I guess. I mean, when we got home from work, the first thing was like, should we play Fortnite or should we... Record. Record. <laughs> so maybe we do have a bit of a problem here. Well, but, but the thing is, is we, ha- we haven't been playing that much Fortnite recently. Like, not that much. Not as much as we were when we first, like, kind of got into it. Discovered it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But a new season dropped. So all of our progress has got reset. Yep. Too bad, so sad. Oh. Now there's new weapons and new places to visit and yeah, all sorts it's been of fun stuff. To explore. It's it's a it's really interesting that we're playing this this strange game that every three months it like completely flips us upside down and, and like changes everything, you know? You don't like the updates? No, it's just it's an interesting concept. I, I, like, I like it. I was getting bored of the map, so I like when they change it up. Yeah. So they call these kinds of games live service games, and I think that this is the right way to do it, is you update things drastically, but at fixed intervals, rather than like every couple updates, maybe you tweak a few things, which is like how most live service games work. Oh, okay. For example, Borderlands 3 Wonderlands was a live service game because they would they would alter things, they would tweak and make bug fixes and stuff like that, but they would also like hold events, right? That's live service. But okay, got but it. they that, that's like live service light, but Fortnite is like a good live service game, I would say. Cool. And it's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun with it, I think. We've also been playing a little bit of Overcooked. We played yeah. a really really good night of that Mm -hmm. on my stream and it was fun but do you have any other games to talk about for game corner not really i've just been playing street fighter duel and pocket mine and at night i've been playing a little elden ring again getting back into that nice yeah so i guess we should do what we came here to do yeah talk about pokemon So this week in Pokemon, we start back up in Saffron City, and it is time to head either north or east. I don't understand why it's suggested you go east in our walkthrough, because north is so much quicker, and I think it's the way that we both took. We went north out of Saffron to the area where the daycare was in the last game. Did you go visit the daycare at all? No, not at all. Just south of Cerulean? No? No, I didn't put a Pokemon in the daycare this time. I can't believe that we're still playing Gold and Silver. Yeah. This game is very long, and I feel like we should be on to the next game. I know. It's coming up. We So, uh, the reason why I decided only two gyms at a time is because I was stalling for a working cartridge of Sapphire to come in yeah, yeah. because we had a working Ruby, we have a working Emerald, but I did not have a working Sapphire cartridge. But now, this week, our working Sapphire cartridge came in the mail. So did you want to accelerate our Woo-hoo! timeline? Yeah, I do. What so do we have left to do? We've gone through four gyms so far. Did you want to just quickly do the next four gyms in the next playthrough and then do the Elite Four the week after and then be, be we done? We have to do the Elite Four again? Oh, yeah. 
No. Oh yeah. What? And there's even post game past wait, the Elite Four the second time. But wait, 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 but wait. Is it the same Elite Four that I just beat? Sort of. They're stronger though. How much stronger? A lot stronger. Like Fuck. level sixty, level seventy, I don't something want like to. that. <laughs> I'm rolling with the same team. I'm just crushing through the gyms. Like I did no extra training. I did no extra catching. I didn't do anything extra this week. I went to both the gyms and was like, I'm done. All right. Yeah, because that's what I thought. We just had eight gyms, and then I was done. <sighs> what do you think? Four I, gyms next week? Yeah, four gyms next week. But if the Elite Four is over level 50, I'm screwed. No, we got this. N- They're no. like level 60s. Yeah, but none of my Pokemon are over 50. Yeah, but you're just going to bowl through them again like you did. We weren't at level whatever it was, level 50, when we went through them the first time. Yeah, and I died. Over and over and over again. Yeah, but eventually you got it. Because you got a good good strategy going on with Milk Duds. Yeah, just my Milk Tank. Okay. Okay, if you say so. Four gems next week. You're on, pal. Okay, sounds good. But you're supposed to go, or at least according to the walkthrough that we're following, uh, just for this last little bit of the game, you're supposed to go east out of Saffron towards lavender town and you go along route eight which i already did i did this last week because i wanted to do the training and i also went to go talk to the move or the move deleter no uh to the nickname raider to change Lori's name oh yeah you did that last week yeah and I, i also realized listening to the podcast uh so i listened to the last episode and i realized i misspoke I said that mm-hmm. it, her name is L O R Y, but it's L O R R Y, which oh. is the way that that British slang is is spelled. Sure. Yeah, I just miss misspoke. I I just missed the second R, and I we just plowed on, and I I didn't like realize in the moment that I had missed the second R, but it is L O R R Y. I just I just didn't say it was L O R R Y. Maybe you said it really fast. L O R R Y. Maybe it, yeah. it definitely does sound like I say L O R Y, but but maybe I did accident like roll the two R's together. <laughs> it's, it's possible, it, but it is L O R R Y. It's it's all good. I just wanted to post that correction because I noticed it. Take your pick on which R is silent. First or second, <laughs> last last week I noticed. Uh, once you get to Lavender Town, you realize that. You didn't do this yet, right? Oh, no, probably not. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but probably not. <laughs> so Pokemon Tower, remember where the the dead Pokemon all were last year or last game? Last year, yeah. <laughs> Technically, I'm it's, not wrong. You're not wrong, but it seems like a year ago. <laughs> uh, well, and it was literally last year, oh, 2022. Very, very funny. But the Pokemon Tower is no more. It's been turned into like a Pokemon tomb building. Cemetery? Yeah, that's still looked after by Dude, Mr. Building. Fuji. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's a it's a building though, so it's like a it's more like a sepulcher than anything, or like a catacomb. But catacomb. Yeah, Pokemon Tower. Is that how you say that word? Isn't it catacomb? No, catacomb. What? Yeah. Isn't it catacomb? Catacomb. Look up the pronunciation on Google. Catacomb. Yeah, but I'm not British, so. And but it's a British word. It's not. So it's okay. <laughs> Catacomb. The tomb. What were we talking about? <laughs> there's a tomb building. Okay, a tomb building. And the original tower, which is where they all were before, is now a radio tower in Kanto. And when you go in there, they're all like, oh, the power is out. So clearly we know what we have to do. You have to go through Dark Cave, except. Except they didn't. We didn't. No. Because the Pokemon inside that cave, like I said last week, are like level 12. Because that's yeah. where I caught Bonehead the Q-Bone. Right. I went to the power plant last week. Right. And they were whining that the power was out and they were missing their part. And then I just didn't pursue it after that. But I had to do it this week. So. What I didn't... You didn't mention this last week. But I didn't know this until I went and talked to him today. The manager of the power plant he says that he's gonna blast someone he's like i'm so angry i could blast someone and 
without knowing the context that he holds Zap Cannon, which is the TM he gives you for fixing the power plant, that is so random of someone to say that he is my versus seeker. Really? Because <laughs> he wants to blast somebody. I'm just going to blast someone. I'm so angry, I'm going to blast someone. I was like, what, a, what an odd thing to say. It's like, that's funny. What could that possibly mean <laughs> in any other context other than you having this one move? Also, does that mean that people can use TMs to learn Pokemon moves? Wait, can you learn Pokemon moves? Can we? Cause like, can I, I learn Attract? Cause I really need that. I guess, I guess, and roll out in the last game. The one guy who gives us the Dig TM, he tank. gives us the Dig TM because he says that he'll just manually train his Diglets how to dig, which is also weird because Diglets learn to dig naturally. But anyway, but he says that he'll manually teach his Diglets how to dig. He doesn't need the TM anymore. And it, in this generation. Back in Ilex Forest, the Cut Master, or the Charcoal Master, he gives us the Cut HM because he says that he can teach his Farfetch'd how to cut without it. So I guess people just know how to do Pokemon moves. That's so weird. Mind you, cutting down a tree isn't necessarily a Pokemon move. Right. Humans can do that. Yeah, we but it, it's... We can dig holes. We can surf. It's interesting that they're like, well, I'll just teach my Pokemon this move. And then, like, this guy talking about blasting somebody, and he holds the zap cannon TM. Anyway. 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 Miss me with that-ish. And you probably will, because zap cannon has a 50% accuracy, which means it's likely going to miss. We make our way into Cerulean after talking to the power plant people. Yep. And that is what we did. Neither of us went through Dark Cave. Nope. Both of us went north of Saffron. I visited the old daycare. Not a daycare anymore. It has two ladies in it. One's an old lady, one's a young lady. The young lady's like, ooh, we're going to Johto soon or something. And the old lady is like, there's a ghost above your head. Here, keep this spell tag with you. And she gives you a spell tag, which if you hold it on your front Pokemon, so the Pokemon who's in like the top of your party, encounters are less common. I need that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Writing so, that on my list of things that I never do. We get to Cerulean City, and you go to the gym, and there's a guy there, and he's like, oh, hey, how's it going, partner? Except he doesn't talk like that. Well, he kind of is. He's, he's, like, very gentle for a Team Rocket he grunt. He talks weird. It was kind of like a mix of Yoda and, like... yeah weird yeah it's like obvious that he's supposed to be like someone who doesn't know japanese yeah because like his his wording is all messed up and he's like you will forget you see me okay okay uh okay a go go that was like the thing that he said on the way out of the door yeah you never see me okay okay Okay, a go go go. (laughs) bye bye yeah bye bye okay a go go weird and it's like all right See a guy, and then you go and you find the machine part in the middle of the pool. After you battle him. Do you battle him? Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember that. Well, because in the gym he was like, I'm not going to tell you my secret. And then you go and find him on Nugget Bridge, and he's like, I'll tell you my secret if you battle me and win. And he's one goal bat. Oh, really? I didn't even yeah. do that. Then, I, oh. After he left the gym, I just went to the center. Oh, because you knew. Because I knew. Because you knew. So I went and I battled him, and I... Gobbled up his gold bat. I'm never saying that again. Gobbled his gold bat. Yeah, okay. I took out his gold bat. Even that is wrong. My Pokemon battled his Pokemon and won. And his Pokemon Zero. happened to his, be a gold bat. He had a gold bat. Fully erect gold bat. No, just a regular old gold bat. And a Pokemon. gaping gold bat. That's enough. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> And I went, and then I went, he told me where he put the part. And I didn't realize it was in the center, so I swam all around, pushing A, trying to be like, where is this thing? Not realizing you just have to fucking swim in the center and not push a button. 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 Not put a, push a button. Get yeah, tired. you just swim onto the spot. Yeah, and then, so it was the last spot I looked. Found it, took it back to the whiny guy right. at the power plant, got yep. my zap cannon, didn't care about it, and I left. 
I before I went back to the power plant, I went up to Nugget Bridge and I finished all the Nugget people who are all like kind of along that path and you have to fight the six of them. Yeah, and they give you a prize. Because there's a cheater. The super nerd is a cheater. He's not supposed to be there. He's not supposed to fight you. Okay. And then after you beat him, he's like, I promise I won't cheat again. And I was like, meh, you were easy. (laughs) You were all easy. (laughs) Even with my Pokemon 10 levels under all of you. Like, I beat them all with Houndour. Oh, I still want him. Who evolved. Nice. So now I have a Hound Doom. You have a Doomy. Yeah. So Gloomy Boy is now a Doomy Boy. Cute. And I was able to wipe out all of the Nugget people, and they gave me a Nugget. Yep. And it's funny because the guy's like, oh, I'm sorry, you had to fight one more person than you expected to. And then he's like, also, I'm going to fight you too. And it's like, then that's two people. So now you're cheating too, Mr. Cool Trainer Alan, or whatever your name is. Not Alan, <laughs> but Cool Trainer How something. How dare. How dare they do that. And so he fights you he's got the same kind of pokemon that they all did i can't even remember what they all had me neither i did this last week let me see if i can find it <laughs> so they have in order an oddish a wigglytuff a grand bull grand bull was actually kind of difficult he has oh, a lot really? of health yeah tangela vaporeon gloom pidgeotto blossom nidoking paris paris parasect porygon and then cool trainer kevin is his name He's got a Rhyhorn, a Charmeleon, and a War Turtle. Right. I thought that was very weird that he didn't have Ivysaur. Yeah. I I remember I now. I remember that. Yeah. But. But. What else? What the other thing that he didn't have is a Snowball's Chance in Hell because his Pokemon were all like level thirty-eight, thirty-eight, thirty-five, thirty-five. Nice. So my Pokemon. Wipe the floor with him. <laughs> My Lapras killed his Rhyhorn and his Charmeleon, and then War Turtle just could not stand a chance. I had, I have a Kadabra with Thunder Punch, <laughs> so that is what I used, and it instantly killed his War Turtle. <laughs> Did not even Strong. feel a little bad. That's good. But we got a Nugget for yeah. beating all seven of them. We did. I haven't sold that nugget yet. Me neither. I forgot about it. But surprise, I will. Surprise. Did you get the there's the just past the super nerd, there's a tree that you can cut down and you can go in yeah, and get the Pokeball? Yeah, this was last week, but what was in the Pokeball? It was a protein. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, okay. I didn't use it. I like I like vitamins. They're very helpful. They make you healthy and strong. Yeah, they also raise the happiness of your Pokémon. Oh. Right, which Pokémon? Talking about happiness of Pokemon, I decided that Eevee was going to be too hard to train, so I swapped Eevee out this week. Can I have him? Do you want Stevie? Of course. But Stevie kept fainting, so that was draining its happiness. Oh, he's going to be mad. I don't want him. Yeah, so I was like, this is going to take too long. I can't make an Umbreon out of you, (laughs) which is what I wanted. Let's so, get down to yeah. business. <laughs> that's what came into my head. And that's what I was trying to evoke, so that's good. Uh, another thing that you can find along this area is during the day you can find Sunkern. Did you I run into any Sunkern? No, I didn't run into any Pokemon. No. Sunkern is the worst Pokemon. The worst? Other than like unknown. Ever? It's the worst Pokemon in this generation and for many generations to come, all the way to Generation 7. And then the worst Pokemon in Generation 7, uh, stats-wise, is a Pokemon named Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy. Okay, Ex- what is that? It's a little fish. It's a water type. Uh, except when Wishy Washy is above a certain health level, and then it turns into something called schooling form. And when it's in schooling form, it actually has the highest stats out of all the Pokemon, including some legendaries. What? Yeah. Strange. It's a very, very strong Pokemon when it's schooling, but when it isn't schooling, it has the lowest stats out of all How Pokemon. How do you make it schooling? It has to stay above a certain health level. Oh, okay. Yeah. Strange. 
Uh, so, like, the first little bit that you have it, it won't even be able to school because it's not a health percentage it has to be over. It's a literal health value it has to be over. <laughs> weird. Okay. Yeah. It's very weird. Something I'm probably not going to put effort into. Well, you won't have to worry about it until nice. we get to Alola. I like it. But Sunkern, in this generation, and for many to come, has the lowest stat value out of all Pokemon. Really? And it's a grass type. And it evolves into Sunflora, who is also a grass type, and is a happy, smiling sunflower, which we saw in uh, Pokemon Legends, maybe? Or something like it? Yeah. We saw Sunflora, remember? remember that and one, like, yeah. there, Who likes that one? It like befriended a kid, and the kid was sick, so it couldn't go visit the Sunflora or I something. I kind of remember that, yeah. But yeah, so that's Sunflora. It, it, I like it because it's happy, but it's next to useless. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I would never run a Sunflora. Nice. And then we get to Bill's Cottage. Bill's Cottage. And at Bill's Cottage... Bill's grandfather is house sitting, and yeah. he's all like, "Yo, show me a Pokemon with a long tongue." This was going to be my stranger danger, but I found one that's even worse. Oh, okay. I didn't have a lick of tongue, did you? No. No. I don't even know where you get one in this generation. Neither does he. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we could transfer our lick of tongues from the last game I don't think forward. I got one last game. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not a surprise. You have to trade a slow bro for it, which is, like, ridiculous. That's uh, pretty much the same thing to me. And then, uh, really? Slow bro uh, cute and dopey. Lickitung is just like... I think they're just both pink in my eyes, so... Oh, gotcha. Uh, Lickitung, in Generation 1, his name is Mark. M-A-R-C. What? Mark. Yours? Well, it, it, it is called Mark because y you have to trade for it. You don't get to oh, name it. Right. Yeah, it's just like the Mr. Mime. And, right, uh, right, right, yeah. Right, 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 gotcha. Yeah. But if you do show the grandfather Lickitung, he'll give you an Everstone. I know that because I, I know what he's there for. He's there to give you the evolution I, stones. I don't want to show him my Lickitung. No. No, but no. We, neither of us have Pokemon that need stones oh. to evolve, so it doesn't okay. matter. That's yeah. good. I'm not going to do it. Unless you wanted, like, a specific evolution. Not in this generation. The next right. one, I think. So, so we won't need it. So we walk away. We say, no thanks, weird old man. I'm out of here. Yeah, exactly. And we head back to the power plant. We give the manager his machine part. He gives us Zap Cannon, which is a very strong electric move with a very bad accuracy. Mm -hmm. We did that. We head back to Cerulean, where we find out that the gym leader is still missing. So we go to the north. Yep. Back across Nugget Bridge. Yep. And we pull <laughs> the most kid, like childlike thing ever. Misty's there. She's very clearly busy. And we just stand there, arms at our sides, fists balled up, and we're all like, Mom, we're out of pizza pockets. Yeah, and that scares off Misty's date. Yeah. 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 And she's pissed about it. He was so intimidated by me that he ran without even talking to me. Like, unfortunately, redheads are not my type, but dang... He was so scared of me. Dude, yeah. and Misty's like, excuse you, excuse you. I'm in the middle of something here. I've heard from adults that people like to get their dicks wet, and I own a pool. Jesus Christ. So clearly, that would be easy for me. I can make anything wet. I got a whole ass swimming pool. That's and crazy our, that you said that. <laughs> our kid's wow. like... I don't even know what that means. I'm 11. I'm 11. And she's like, well, I'm 14, so I also don't know what that means. Anyway, sure, I'll fight you, piece of shit kid. And you're like, cool, thanks. We're out of pizza pockets. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Mom's trying to get busy, and we're all standing there like, Mom! Mm -hmm. Mom! <laughs> pizza pocket now! <laughs> 
you don't see the connection? Yeah, I'm a little bit scared, not gonna lie. Scared. We go and we fight Misty. We make it through each of her little minion trainers really easy because our Hound Doom has Sunny Day and it has Solar Beam. And so you Sunny Day on the first turn and then you Solar Beam all the rest of the, the mince meat that they toss out at you. <laughs> And your 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 dog just oh 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 and just munches them all up because they're just stupid little fish. Your dog does. My cow did. And then you get to Misty and she kicks the pants off of you, off of and you run away crying. Is that what happened? <laughs> because she sweeps your entire team. I feel like a little something's happening right now. You need to take a minute. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. Did that did that happen to you? <laughs> This is when I decided that Evie was going to take too much to train oh. and Ducks was no longer welcome on my team. <laughs> we made some swapsies here. You're turning red in the face. And we need a breath. So, now I'm ready to talk about my team if you want to do Pokemon Center check-in. Yeah, can I have my DS though? Because I need to write them down. <laughs> Yes, I haven't right. changed the team. A couple of them probably went up like a level, but it's probably the same. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back with Pokemon Center check-in. So Matt can catch his breath and put his angries away. Yeah. Okay, and we're back. So the trainers in this Misty's gym are Swimmer Parker, who has Horsey, Horsey, Cedra, uh, 32, 32, 35. Swimmer Brianna, who has two Sea Kings, both level 35, and Swimmer Diana, who has a Golduck, level 37. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Then we get to leader Misty. Yeah. She's got a Golduck, 42. A Quagsire, 42. A Lapras, 44. And a Starmie, 47. Did you want to talk about your experience first, or do you want to hear my <laughs> <Sure>. rant? <laughs> um, just let me go through really quick, because okay. mine went quick. Um, she fainted my milk duds, my skittles, and my airhead. Okay. But then the rest was easy. Yeah? Yeah. It the, was, your, your heavy hitters went down, and you were still... All my heavy still... hitters, yeah. But airheads um, finished it off, and then... I thought you said Airhead got knocked out. Yeah, she, uh, Airhead got her Starmie down to, like, red health. Oh. Only a couple HP, and then she fainted him, and then I don't Misty remember. didn't Hyper Potion. No, I didn't. No. Oh, Misty Hyper Potioned with me. But, oh. sorry, continue. No, that's okay. I don't remember who finished Starmie off, but it was not easy, but not too hard. Okay. I only went through three Pokemon, but I know that you had a, you had a good time with Misty. Yeah. So, I we went did. with... Uh, so I was starting at this point. I was starting with Gloomy Boy, uh, going out first. Okay. And uh, I was for the rest of her gym. I would set up Sunny Day, so Sunny Day would go up, and they would get a hit in or two on Gloomy Boy, but he would take the hit, and then I would Solar Beam because Sunny Day lets you use Solar Beam on one turn rather than use uh, like having to charge up and then hit, charge up and then hit. Okay. So. I go sunny day, and then I would solar beam, solar beam, solar beam, solar beam. It would wipe out the other teams in the gym here. Uh, so for Parker, for Brianna, for Diana, that's what I did. It was super simple. For Misty, I send out Gloomy Boy. She sends out Golduck. I try to hit sunny day. Golduck uses Surf, knocks Gloomy Boy out. And I was like, oh, shit, okay. So I bring out Eevee, because I was going to revive... Gloomy boy, and I go into my bag and realize I don't have revives. Oh no! And I was like, "Oh right, I never didn't bother went to the mart <laughs> after <laughs> Sabrina. I forgot that like Sabrina like kind of clocked me out of out of all my items. Uh, so then, for the rest of the fight, Misty just had me in a ball kicking machine and. Ooh. It was just Eevee, dead to a psychic. Ducks go out. Ducks, dead to a surf. Uh, then I brought out my Kadabra, because it was just a Kadabra then. 
and she wiped it out in a single surf and I was like oh my god <laughs> like I'm gonna get wiped to this gold duck but I was able to bring out Lori and I can't remember if I attracted it or what but I, Lori was able to get past gold duck and to into Starmie and then Starmie confused raid Lori and Starmie is a, a genderless because it's op- an object so it has no gender yeah, you can't so you attract can't attract it, it. No. So, Starmie Confuse Rays, I can't attract, I hit myself and Starmie, I don't remember, Thunderbolts or something yeah. and kills me. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. So, oh, now I have no. one Pokemon left and it's Mackie. And so I send Mackie out and I was like, go Mackie, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't have Thunderbolt on this yeah. Dragonair because Thunderbolt isn't a TM in this one. That's how I had Thunderbolt on Jaylee right, in the last okay. one, I, I believe, but I think, or maybe Thunderbolt was on Starman, which was my Starmie in the last game. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. I didn't have an electric move. I didn't have a grass move. I had Dragon Breath, Iron Tail, Surf, and Thunder Wave. So I was like, okay, well, Thunder Wave, and Starmie has Ice Beam. <laughs> No. So I was just like, oh, okay. Or I just won't hurt Starmie oh, <laughs> at no. all. I didn't even touch Starmie. Dang. And Starmie was her second Pokemon. I didn't even see the other two. And I was like, oh, all right. That's fair. And so. That's, oh, no. Only that's, her second. Yeah. Oh, that's Starmie when I was, was like. last on mine. That's when I was like, okay, time to make some changes. <laughs> so I went. Back to the Pokemon Center, and I swapped out Eevee, and I swapped out Ducks. And then I was like, and also, uh, fuck you, Misty, for now. And I went and did Erica oh, first. Did you? Oh, boy. <laughs> so I went to Celadon, <laughs> and I fought Erica before going to fight Misty. That's really funny. So I guess we'll talk about that gym, too. This is where I found my Stranger <clears throat> Danger. <clears throat> Okay. It's outside of Erica's gym. Oh! <laughs> the old, there's an old man standing outside yes. Erica's gym. When you talk to him, he says, this gym is great. Only girls are allowed in. That's right. And I was like, excuse me? Goodbye. Yeah. yeah. He, very similar to how he was three years ago. Exactly. He's been there the whole time. Except he... I'll give him this much. He has backed away from the door this time. Because pretty... before, he was standing right at the window. Yeah. Leering through the window, saying like, <laughs> Erica sure has a bunch of beautiful trainers in her gym or something. I can't remember what it was. Just as creepy as it Just is as creepy, now. Just as creepy, but yeah, so he's my stranger. But at least it. he's backed up. <laughs> he's Weird. Giving them some... So strange. It is a little strange. Erica's gym has twins Joe and Zoe. With a Victory Bell and a Vile Plume, both level 35. Mm-hmm. Last Michelle, who's got a Skip Loom, a Hop Hip, and a Jump Luff. Weird that she has them in that order instead of the Hop Hip, the Skip Loom, the Jump Luff. Why? Because that's its evolutionary line. Oh. Not So the way that she has it, she goes middle evolution, first stage, last stage. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Which is weird. Uh, Picnicker Tanya, who's got an Executor. And Beauty Julia, who's got a Paris, an Execute, and a Parasect. She was almost my stranger danger. Because she says, oh, are you looking at, these flower- looking at these flowers, or are you looking at me? I was yeah. like, I'm looking at the flowers, bitch. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, was oh, very- my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How was Erica for you? <laughs> Erica was really simple. Yeah. I have a Hound Doom. <laughs> my only note that I wrote down was Ho-Oh plus Sacred Fire's Equal, I win. Yeah. I yeah. just would, I, for this whole gym, I just sunny dayed and then yeah. ember, 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 ember. Yeah. I sacred fired my way through the whole gym. That's all I did. I didn't even need the other two Pokemon who I brought out, but no. I did need them for Misty. Okay. Back so, to Misty. Back to Misty after I beat Erica. Erica, easy. Tangela, level 42. Jumpluff, level 41. Victory Bell, level 46. Blossom, level 46. Victory Bell was the only issue. Really? Victory Bell was poisoning everything oh. with one hit, Rude. which was annoying. And also, its acid was doing a lot of damage. I think it knocked out some of my Pokemon, but 
Uh, other than that, it was fairly simple. Blossom, piece of cake. Yeah, I don't think... Should have stuck with Vile Plume. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think your Pokemon got one and moved in on me. Yeah. Yeah. Not not was, hard at all. It was great. Uh, I, I might have lost some Pokemon to their Victory Bell, but that was that was it. Uh, Tangela, joke. Jumpluff, joke. Yep. Blossom, joke. Uh, back to Misty. This time around, I did a lot better. My gloomy boy was a few levels higher. Nice. And I had two new po- well, not no new Pokemon, but two other Pokemon with me, and they helped tremendously. So, my Pokemon, and the reason why I did Erica first is because one of them was underleveled and I needed to level it up, so I gave it the XP share while I ran through Erica's gym. Nice. So, that's how it caught up to the rest of my Pokemon. My Pokemon were Sparky, level 29, Lantern. What's a Lantern? It's the evolved form of Chinchou. So I, I grabbed a Chinchou Ew. a couple weeks ago. Remember I was talking about in Olivine, I was trying to get to Cienwood, and I was down on the dock, and the guy was like, no, you can't go this way because it was the dock to the SS Aqua. And he was like, sorry, the the waters are too choppy. You can't go this way. And I was like, oh, well, what am I supposed to do then? So I went fishing on the dock. Mm-hmm. I caught something called a chincho. Which I, was, I've seen a chincho. Okay. It's a water electric type. Okay. Lantern is its evolved form. And it's like a little happy whale. It's really cute. It's supposed to be like an angler fish, but it doesn't look like an angler fish at all. It's It's very cute. It's very happy. It's joyful. I like it. Hmm. So, Sparky, level 29, Lantern. Water electric type, pretty strong. It knows Spark, which has like a decent chance of paralyzing. Spark. Yeah. That's new. It's an electric move. Uh, I got Gloomy Boy. I kept him on the team. Level 29, Hound Doom. 29? Mm hmm. I have Lori, my level 30, Lapras. I have Cybrina, my level 41 Alakazam, which you helped mm-hmm. me get before we I fought trade. Misty the second time. <laughs> so you helped me trade Alakaz- or Kadabra into Alakazam before I fought Misty the second time, which was very helpful because uh, he got a few licks in, or she got a few licks in this time. Uh, I had Mackie, my level 46 now, Dratini, uh, Dragonair, Dratini. <laughs> Dratini. <laughs> And I had the drama, my level 47, Dodrio, who was able to wipe out her Starmie nice. for the victory. But holy crap. That, uh, yeah, it was hard. And that's fine, because we are now done half of the gyms in Kanto. Next week, we'll Yay. be doing... The other four, so that we can get to the end of this game, because now we have the ability to move on to the Generation 3 games. So we are going to wrap up the next four, which I believe in the order of operations for the walkthrough that we've got, it will be uh, Koga's replacement, because Koga is now an Elite Four member, but Koga's replacement down in Fuchsia City. And then we'll go through Diglett's Cave and go to Brock in Pewter City. And then we will go to the mysterious... Or actually, sorry, we go down to Cinnabar Island and find out what happened there. Okay. Because when we visit Fuchsia, you will notice that there is something wrong with Cinnabar. But we go back down to Cinnabar, realize what has happened to Cinnabar, then we have to make our way to the new island and fight Blaine. Nice. The fire gym. And then finally, we will make our way to Viridian City, where we will fight the new Viridian City gym leader, because the old one has disappeared. Oh, spoilers. I like it. Do you well, you hear- know that the old one disappeared. Yeah. We made him disappear. That's true. Last year. <laughs> Do you want to hear my team? Oh, did you not say it? No. It's basically the same, just a couple of levels up. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Airhead, 47. Milk Duds, 47. Jaylee, 45. Skittles, 44. Pez, 27. And Hershey, 50. 
Nothing really new. Same team. Hershey's a lot higher. Hershey, because he's had the experience share for like a year. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting to take it off of him. Thank you for telling us your team. Thanks for asking. My time after beating Erica and Misty is 7755, so just another two hours. I think I only added 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, 95 over 198. So I only somehow added one Pokemon to my Pokedex, which is confusing because I evolved Houndoom and I evolved Lantern, so I don't understand how... But you've seen Houndoom and Houndour before. Yeah, but I didn't catch them. So it's oh. supposed to add to my Pokemon owned, right? Yeah. And I evolved Kadabra. Ooh, yeah. that's even more confusing. Weird. So I have an Alakazam, a Houndoom, and a Lantern, and somehow I only went up one Pokedex entry? That's super confusing. That's not right. Okay. Maybe I had 92, not 94, like I wrote down last year. Or week. <laughs> no, I don't know why I keep saying it. I keep year. saying it, too. That's funny. Last week I said I had 94, 198. This week I say 95, 198. Something's the 198 up. makes sense because I didn't see anything new. Mm -hmm. No, except for Lantern. Lantern's new. You didn't run into Lantern. Weird. I don't know what's wrong with my Pokedex. <laughs> Maybe it needs new batteries. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Anyway, uh, we will take another quick break and we will be right back with Pokemon Academy. Welcome back from our break, Jaylee. Welcome back hey. from our break, Poke fans and Pokemaniacs. Hey, guys. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the silhouette of the flower Pokemon that you brought up that yeah. I don't know the name of, but I know you like this one. Or is this the one that you don't like? Because that'll tell me the name. I don't like this one. This is Sunflora. No. Fuck. I like Sunflora. I, I just don't want to use it because it sucks. This is Blossom. This is Blossom. Nice. I just guessed. Uh, oh, why? You don't like this one? I do not like this one. What? But um, it looks like a lady. <laughs> that is not the only qualification of oh. something that I like. There we go. That's ugly. Bell awesome. It's ugly. The only thing that's cute about it is the blush on its cheeks. Everything else is ugly. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let me tell you all about Belossum. Please and do. And why it sucks. <laughs> yes, I am excited for this. Belossum's base stats are identical to its alternate evolution, Vileplume. Other than its special attack and special defense have been swapped, so they are 90 and 100 respectively. This remains the case until Generation 6, also known as X and Y, when Vileplume receives a 10-point increase to special attack, and Belossum receives a 10-point increase to defense. Regular defense. Not even special defense, which is what its best stat was, but just regular defense. So it's basically Vileplume, but weaker. It's boring and basic. Yeah. In every regard. And I'll explain that in a second, too. Identical to Vileplume, Blossom learns Petal Dance upon evolving. But unlike Vileplume, Blossom continues to learn Solar Beam at level 55 after evolving, while Vileplume stops learning moves after evolving, or at least through level up. You can still TM it and stuff. In the official artwork for Blossom in the Gold and Silver art book, it is shown with blue skin, much like its pre-evolved forms, and Vileplume. Blossom is the only monotype Pokemon that evolves from a dual-type Pokemon. There's another reason why it's weaker than Vileplume, because it goes from a grass poison to a grass type. That's so weird. What a weird choice to make. That seems very useless. Other flower category Pokemon are Vileplume and Bellsprout. I forgot I forgot to read all this stuff at the top. Sorry, Bellossum, also known as Kirehana, is its Japanese name. The flower Pokemon, it is a grass type. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to read all of that. Thanks for that. 
Uh, so the other flower category Pokemon are Vileplume and Bellsprout. Despite its obvious inspiration from hula dancers, Blossom is not present locally in the Alola family games and must be transported in from another region. Why? It's Weird. it's baffling to me that that Blossom, who is a hula dancer, would not be in the uh, Hawaii themed games. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. Weird choice. Yeah. Like Gloom and Vileplume, Blossom also sports Reflexia on its head. The, the what? The flowers that Vileplume has and Ugly Gloom. flowers. Yeah. So it has Reflexia on its head, but two smaller versions, and they are worn much like the Hawaiian Plumeria, which are the... The big Hawaiian the flowers. The big pink flowers that they wear in their hair. Blossom is reminiscent of a bell due to its body shape and also due to the ringing that can be heard when it dances. According to the Pokedex entry in Pokemon Silver, Plentiful in the tropics. When it dances, its petals rub together and make a pleasant ringing sound. Oh. Blossom may be a combination of the words bell, as in a bell, ding, 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 <laughs> bell, as in beautiful in French, and Blossom, as in a flower blossom. Makes Very sense. clearly, I think it's a portmanteau of bell, bell, and blossom. Kirehana, on the other hand, is a combination of kire, which means beautiful, re, which means bell, and hana, which means flower. Cute. I like that one better. Yeah. That is everything I have on Bellossom. Thank you for sharing that. No problem. That's great. Did you like information? It? Yeah, I did I like? I like all of the trivia and stuff that you teach me at the end because I have no idea about Pokemon still mm. after what seems like years of this podcast. But it hasn't been. It's literally been what four months, six months. How long are we in this podcast now? We started in September. Amazing. Mm-hmm. And what month are we in now? I'm March. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Are we? Wow. We're getting good at this. This has been really, really fun. Mac and I would like to thank you guys for listening every week and putting up with us when we're late and putting up with me when I have blonde moments. I'm just really funny sometimes. What's your starter's name again? What starter? The starter, your, your fully evolved starter. What's his name? Skittles? Yeah, what's his name? He's a Typhlosion. Yay! Yeah. It took me a long time to understand what a Typhlosion was. <laughs> I was just humoring you when you were talking about Typhlosion, and I was pretending to know what you were talking about. Oh. So you would think I'm cool. But anyway, we... But I know you're cool instead. I am cool trainer. You're a cool trainer, Jaylee. Jaylee. Yes, and you're Pokemon Professor Mackenzie. And we would like to thank all of our Pokemaniacs for listening to us every week. We really appreciate your love and support. And please don't forget to like and follow us on Instagram at Route to Victory Road Podcast. And subscribe to our Patreons for some extra fun stuff. Again, at Route to Victory Road Podcast. You can listen to our podcast on Spotify and most other podcatchers like Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And if you don't mind, please Share us with your friends and family. The more support we have, the more we can bring to you every week. Yeah, make them listen to it. Yeah. Sit, sit them, down them down in a room. Tape their ears open. and uh, Tape them open <laughs> and handcuff them to the bed or whatever. I don't, I don't know how you're going to tape their ears open, but just do it. Yeah, Send make us them pictures. listen. We need, we need proof of this. Tape the headphones to their head there. so they can't shake them off. Yeah, exactly. Make them listen. Blare it over a hi-fi. <laughs> Brainwash them. Brainwash them with our content. Yes. That's all we ask. And uh, we will leave you with these closing remarks. This time they come from Hiker on Route 42 in this game, Gold Silver. He says, Losing feels insignificant if you look up at the big sky. Oh, everything feels insignificant. Yeah. Wait, what? If you look up at the big sky. Yeah. Everything feels tiny and insignificant, especially if you look at this guy at night, because it's big, and there's a whole other world out there, and I'm going to shut up. Okay. But I needed this quote this week after losing to Misty so badly. Oh, no. Yeah, I needed this quote. 
Misty is insignificant. Cool. Misty Jamie. Losing to Misty is insignificant if you look up at the big sky and realize that all she's got is the stupid ocean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the ocean's pretty big, too, but it's okay. Yeah. It's actually most of the Earth. But it's, it's fine. Yeah, I, She's only got a dumb swimming pool. How's yeah. that? Yeah. And her dumb boyfriend who's scared of little boys asking her mom for pizza pockets. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see you next time on the route to Victory Road. waved (laughs) (laughs) I was hoping you didn't see that (laughs) I said goodbye in my head goodbye ciao